Vilism is one of the Trench storyline's most prominent mysteries. It seldom receives attention from Tyler and Josh, as it is rarely talked about. It has never been directly mentioned in any music videos or songs at all. We only know it exists thanks to the Demoorg website, and even then, information is scarce. The lack of information on vilism is baffling to say the least, as arguably it is the most important part of trench lore. It explains why the bishops are the antagonists, and why the banditos were created to rebel against the Niners in the first place. Today, I am going to uncover that mystery and explain what vilism exactly is. Before we get into the video however, I would like to give a warning. This video will contain triggering themes relating to mental health and suicide. If you're distressed by this, I advise you click off the video as this will be a consistent subject brought up throughout the theory. If you are severely struggling, there is support you can reach for and hotlines will be in the description if you need help. As you all know, Dima is run by nine bishops. This makes Dima a theocratic regime. In simpler terms, it is a nation run by religious leaders as opposed to a monarch or a politician. So, since Dima is theocratic and run by bishops, that must mean that they have some sort of religious doctrine that the regime endorses. On the Demo.org website, there is a map of Dima, with a segment torn off in the corner. An earlier version of the website revealed what was in this corner, a label saying the sacred municipality of Dima, United Violists. Sacred is a word with religious connotations, implying that the city of Dima is holy. Meanwhile, since they are a city of United Violists, we can assume that Violist is a term for someone who worships the religion in Dima. The religion is Violism. Fundamentally, Violism is a religion and Dima is a holy city that endorses it. Every believable religion has several terms that may only be understood by its followers, and vilism is no exception. These terms will frequently appear throughout the video, and here are their definitions. Vilism is the official religion of Dima that all citizens follow. The bishops are the leaders of this religion. Vilist is the name of someone who follows the religion of vilism. A glorified is someone who is devoted to vilism, and as a result has become a chosen one to the bishops. Glorifieds tend to exist in groups at a time. A glorious gone is the name given to a glorified who has died. Now we have all the background information about vilism out the way, let's move into the specifics. Each religion has an end goal. Religions such as Christianity or Islam believe the end goal is to spread their respective message, or follow certain rules to enter the afterlife and better the rest of humanity. Vilism is no different in this regard. It does have a goal, and unfortunately, it is a really disturbing one. A while back, Tyler did an interview over on the official 21 Pilots Discord server. Amongst the topics they spoke about, vilism came up, and specifically that Neon Gravestones was written about vilism. He stated it was a widespread religion in Dima that is understood as a good thing, but has a dark secret. Once this secret is found out, this causes you to want to leave. Neon Gravestones is a song that talks about Tyler's own gripes with people glorifying the suicide of others, or stars using suicide to try and boost their own reputation. That is the fundamental meaning of the song. Suicide should not be glorified, nor should people be celebrated for committing it, as it is ultimately a horrific and tragic thing that should never have happened. Given that the point of the song is to expose how wrong the glorification of suicide is, how wrong the neon gravestones are, it's then easy to assume that since neon gravestones and vilism are linked, vilism is centred around the glorification of suicide. Suicide is the end goal of vilism. The point is to commit that act to become glorified, to be loved, respected and celebrated after committing an act deemed honourable by both bishops and Dima citizens alike. It is such an honourable act in Dima that those who commit it are immortalised and commemorated by a neon gravestone built in your memory. That's right. The low hum of light surrounding Dima is the light from the gravestones of those that have committed suicide. Their suicide seen as a badge of honour, a mark of respect, an act of service for the municipality of Dima, rather than as a tragic and horrific act. In order for a religion to be successful, you have to have followers that believe you and are willing to listen to your orders. For the bishops to encourage their followers to commit suicide, there has to be a reason people are willing to go through with this. 
Well, first of all, it's implied that not everybody is willing to complete the end goal of vialism by killing themselves. Redecorate's chorus lyrics seem to expose this. I don't want to go like this. At least let me clean my room. These lyrics are akin to someone begging, hoping to buy themselves some more time by cleaning their room before they die, an act which they don't particularly want to go through with. This suggests that not all citizens of Dima follow the religion of vialism by choice. In true theocratic style, this religion and its customs are forced upon the citizens of Dima, involving the outcome of suicide. But for those that do follow it willingly, why? Well, there are two reasons. The first is the conditions in Dima. It's established that the bishops are blurry faces, therefore they represent negativity and mental health issues. The symptoms of mental health are emulated in the daily lifestyle of the citizens that the bishops force them to follow as such. They are made to wear grey to simulate feeling devoid of joy, expression and individuality. Their clothing dehumanises them. By removing their individuality, it can also play into existential theories in which many feel as if they aren't important as they aren't unique. Citizens are often isolated from others thanks to their living arrangements, something confirmed in Redecorate's penultimate verse. There are no open areas in which people can socialise and receive support in conditions that are honestly enough to cause people to struggle mentally. Long story short, the culture and lifestyle that the bishops cultivate in Dima cause people to gain mental health issues. The bishops force their people to suffer. Vialism offers a way out of that struggling, as it endorses suicide as a way to end that pain. Not only that, but it promises that you'll be loved and celebrated after your death. Therefore, it will feel beneficial, as it may feel like that is the only way you'll be loved, remembered and supported. For people who are alone and struggling, the promise of an end to the pain and the notion of being loved and remembered makes vialism seem appealing. The other reason is to do with the meteorological conditions surrounding Dima. In hometown, Dima is described as a place with no sun, something seen within the Nico and the Niners music video. Moreover, the sun is a symbol of the banditos, therefore it makes sense that Dima is enshrouded in fog and darkness to oppose this thematically. Either way, Dima does not receive sunlight, which means the city is always in darkness. This is why the bishops resort to using artificial light to illuminate the city. The main source of artificial light in the city is the necropolis area in Dima. In the map, this is the outskirts of the city where all the neon gravestones are. And what are neon gravestones? They are the graves of those who have devoted themselves to vialism and killed themselves. Their death provides light for the city. Their death provides a service for the city. Therefore, people may follow vialism to feel that they are doing their duty for their city, sacrificing themselves so that others may have light. In a city where it's established by Clancy that people live to serve their bishop, it makes complete sense that many would see this as a sacrifice they must make to serve their bishops to the fullest extent. It is clear that vialism isn't a religion made up by a faction within Dima that has grown in popularity. We've established that vialism has likely been introduced into Dima's culture by the bishops, much like the living conditions, due to their title as bishops and also their prominent role in many of the vilest rituals. But any good leader wouldn't merely encourage the death of their populace unless they had a good reason to, whether they have ultimate faith that their religion is the truth or whether they're benefiting from the death of so many. Unfortunately, in the case of the Niners, the latter is true. The bishops heavily benefit from the suicide of their citizens. In the outside music video, we got the first glimpse of what the bishops are actually doing in Dima. We were introduced to the soul transfer ritual, something we recognised as such thanks to the Clancy letters released both before and after the music video dropped. Essentially, the ritual allows the bishops to temporarily or permanently move their souls to other vacant bodies to use as vessels. In the Saturday music video, we see the temporary vessels of the bishops just used for the purposes of steering the ship. Clancy also mentions that it may be possible that the bishops are transferring their souls to other bodies to siphon off their life energy, basically becoming immortal as long as they have a constant supply of bodies. The soul transfer ritual explains why, in the livestream, Dan and Sally become slowly worn and bruised, and also why the bishops wear veils over their faces, to conceal that they are likely in the bodies of fellow Dima citizens. In said Clancy letters, these vessels are referred to as glorious gone, which is awfully similar to the term glorified, given to devout followers of vialism. Not only that, but in Leave the City, we have the lyric, the burning is so low it's concerning. 
because they know that when it goes out, it's a glorious gong. When fire references both life and soul to the banditos. So a glorious gone is clearly someone who isn't alive and is absent of a soul. So both vialism and the soul transfer ritual is linked. Annually, the bishops likely pick a group of the most devoted vialism followers to become glorifieds, their chosen ones. These glorifieds are chosen to become the next vessels of the bishops, with a few extra added into the group since the body's deteriorating condition so quickly, as seen in the livestream. By committing suicide, glorifieds are removing the soul from their body, leaving their body as a vacant vessel for the bishop to use to continue living. Vialism is a lie. There is nothing sacred or honourable about it, but the religion and the lies surrounding it are used as justification to create a supply of vessels for the bishops to use. Citizens think that this is their purpose, and the only way to be happy or feel supported in a city where there is a culture of isolation and loneliness to worsen the effects of mental health. They are promised rewards for their act of suicide in the afterlife. In actuality, they are just being used as vessels, and the bishops are essentially lying. This is the terrible secret Tyler mentioned. Not the suicide, otherwise the suicide of citizens would be kept a secret, not put on display with neon gravestones. But the fact that the suicide is glorified and used by the bishops for selfish reasons. It's even in the name of the religion. A vial is a container or vessel for something. The true purpose of vialism is to create vessels for the bishops so that they remain immortal, hence why they endorse it. Assemblage of the Glorified is the only ritual we are currently aware of, thanks to the Clancy Letters. We have actually seen this ritual twice, in both Saturday and Nico and the Niners, and know that it is something that happens annually, arranged and overseen by the bishops. In Saturday, Clancy establishes that the performance on the submarine was for that year's assemblage of the Glorified. From this, we can see that it is some sort of festival or party for those who are to soon kill themselves, a final moment of joy and relaxation. The Nico and the Niners ritual is slightly different, as this was before the bishops were made aware of the influence of Tyler and Josh's music and talent. In Nico and the Niners, we see a group gathered into one of the Dima churches. From there, the bishops start creating something out of glass, which is later revealed to be a neon gravestone. They're making the gravestones for the people in front of them, forcing them to watch and solidify their fate. In summary, vialism is a religion based on the soul transfer ritual. The bishops use the religion, they lie about the reasons behind the religion so that they can get a free flow of bodies constantly to use as vessels to extend their own lives. The only reason the people of Dima follow this religion, follow the end goal of killing themselves and committing suicide, is because of not only the conditions that they are forced to face that only worsen any mental health struggles they're going through, but also because they have a sense of duty, feeling that they need to light up the city and help improve the conditions for other people as well in the only way they know how. Some people use vialism as an escape from the pain the bishops have purposefully set up for them within their daily lives, and some people use vialism as a way to improve the lives of people by bringing light to the city. Either way, vialism is probably one of the most disturbing aspects of the Trench storyline, and it is understandable why it is the sole enemy of the storyline in general, and why the banditos oppose it, because they believe that everybody should in true 21 Pilot style, stay alive. Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed watching this video. This one was a really fun one to write. I hope it was clear though, because to me it just felt like I was vomiting everything I knew about vialism onto a page. Um, some of this is heavily confirmed, like the soul transfer ritual and vialism being related, neon gravestones and the purpose of vialism, all of that is confirmed. But the things like um, what a glorified is, or what a glorious gone is, that's mainly all of my own research and my own speculation based on the evidence we've currently seen. So if things don't make sense, I'm really sorry. Um, I hope this helps, and if things have been disproved that I've 
speculated upon myself and I will hold my hands up to that. But this is meant to be a comprehensive view of everything we know about vialism and everything we sort of know about vialism. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully this video was understandable and not just me going insane. Next video, uh, we will be doing a speculation on what's likely to come in the new era and all of the updates on the on the release date, the album storyline, the album look, all of that, etc. Either way, thank you for watching. Top debate.